let me show you how to make keto vegan super healthy bread that you will enjoy every single day without any eggs butter milk flour none of that a delightful mix of lentil chickpeas and a bit of sweet potato all fused with sesame seeds and a tiny bit of olive oil crispy and delightful let's go and enjoy it look at that it's an amazing bun we take a knife and we cut through it wow look at that beauty with this recipe you will have no guilt and no reason not to enjoy this healthy bread Kalimas Orxi Bon Appetit with my secret spices and herbs we elevate this bread to a higher level I hope you live and eat healthy and enjoy life let's have a look at the ingredients of this super healthy bread recipe chickpeas and lentils so 750 here 750 here we've got 70 grams of sesame and 70 grams of poppy seeds i'm going to use the zest of two lemons i've got my spices here a small spoon of salt ginger garlic powder curcum then we've got a pinch of cayenne pepper and a pinch of crystals of himalayan salts of course i'm going to be using my olive oil then we've got 15 grams of yeast and we're going to use a bit of baking powder now this is for me i've got about half a kilogram of sweet potatoes orange and white sweet potatoes that i'm going to uh, use some of that into the flour that i'm going to make from the lentil and the chickpeas this is for me because i cannot take so much of the purine so i sort of water it down with the potato i boil these potatoes with the skin i covered the chickpeas and the lentil and i'm gonna soak this for about a couple of hours then we're gonna put into the grinder we're going to put into the blender slowly slowly until we have sort of this texture the lentil is quite mushy and well blended now we're going to do the chickpeas and the chickpeas are ready we're going to put with the lentil now onto our mix we're going to add all spices and herbs and then we're going to mash our potatoes and put it of course you don't have to put potatoes if you don't like i explain the reason why i do it potatoes some salt I'm going to put my sesame and black sesame and we're going to need this is going to make the dough a bit firmer finally i'm going to put my yeast and we're going to knead and let it stand for another 12 hours until the next day it's the next day my dough has fermented it's perfect look at the texture see that is beautiful you could form buns so we're going to bake that in a preheated oven just before baking i'm going to drizzle a bit of olive oil and add a good spoon of baking powder this is going to allow it to puff and give that volume we shape into a good size buns then we're going to put in a preheated oven at 220 so off it goes it has to be quite hot a good 40 minutes my buns are perfect look at that i'm going to allow to cool down and i'm going to bake the rest so this recipe gives you a good portion to share with all of your friends and family i will allow to cool down they're extremely hot so they can get in shape however i want to show you that they are perfect and the colder they get the stiffer they will be the absolutely vegan keto healthy buns